Hello everyone, today we're going to talk about insertion sort. So we will talk about how insertion sort works, then we will see the implementation and finally we will talk about the runtime and space complexity of insertion sort. So let's first talk about how insertion sort works. So in insertion sort we select an element and then we compare that element with all the elements that are on the left side of the element that we initially selected. And if we find that the element on the left side is greater than the element that we initially selected, we move forward the element. And finally, after all the comparisons, we move the element that we initially selected at its correct position. So let's see this with an example. So here we have an array of eight elements and we're gonna sort it in ascending order using insertion sort. Now to compare the element on the left side, we should have an element on the left side. So for six, we don't have any element on the left side. That's why we will start with element five. So we will keep six at its position and we will start comparing with element five. So six will be at its position. So we will start with five. We will compare six is greater than five. Yes, six is greater than five. We have to move forward. Then we will select three. 6 is greater than 3, we have to move forward. 5 is also greater than 3, we have to move forward. And then we will place 3 at its correct position. Now we will select 1. 6 is greater than 1, we have to move forward. 5 is also greater than 1, 3 is also greater than 1. And finally we will place 1 at its correct position. Now 8 is at its correct position. 7, 8 is greater than 7, so we have to move forward. Now we will place 7 at its correct position. 2, 8 is greater than 2, we have to move forward, 7 is also greater than 2, 6 is also greater than 2, 5 is also greater than 2, and 3 is also greater than 2. So we will place 2 at its correct position now. Now we will select 4, 8 is greater than 4, so we have to move forward, 7 is also greater than 4, 6 is also greater than 4, 5 is also greater than 4, and then we will place 4 at its correct position. So that's how we will use insertion sort to sort elements. Now let's see an implementation. So here we have insertion sort implementation. So there are two loops. Now outer loop will run n minus one time because we are starting from one and going till n less than n. And in the inner loop, we basically compare all the elements that are on the left side. And if we find that element on the left side is greater than key, key is the element that we select in that iteration. If we find the element on the left side is greater than key, we basically move forward that element. And after all the comparisons, we place the key at its correct position. So if I run this code, it should sort the elements. So 120, so this is the input. So it's sorted 120, 39, 45, and 89. So now let's put a breakpoint here and then we're gonna run it in debugger so we can see the value of i, j, and array. So let's run this in debugger. So initially value of array is this and number of items are five. So i will start from one. So i's value is one, j will be having a value 0 and key will be 39 so we'll compare whether 45 is greater than 39 and yes 45 is greater than 39 so we have to move forward 45 so 45 will be moved forward now J's value will be minus 1 so we will exit out of while loop and then we will place 39 at its correct position which is 0 so 39 will be placed at its correct position. Now in the second iteration, value of i will be 2 and our key will be 20 and value of j will be 1 and we're going to compare uh, 20 with 45. Now 45 is greater than 20 so we have to move forward 45. Then we will compare 39 with 20. 39 is also greater than 20, so we have to move forward 39 as well. And finally, we will place 20 at its correct position. So now we are in the third iteration. Value of i is 3. Key will be 89. Value of j will start from 2. So we will compare 89 with 45. 
so 45 is not greater than 89 so we will exit out of while loop and 89 will be at its position correct position now in the fourth iteration value of i will be 4 and our key will be 1 and value of j will start from 3 we will compare whether 89 is greater than 1 yes 89 is greater than 1 so we will move forward then we will compare whether 45 is greater than 1 yes 45 is greater than 1 so we will move forward then we will compare 39 is greater than 1 so we will have to move forward 39 then we will compare whether 20 is greater than 1 so we have to move forward 20 as well and finally we will place 1 at its correct position so now our array is sorted and after all the iteration uh, the array is sorted and we can see uh, this is our sorted array after all the iterations so this is how we use insertion sort to sort uh, an array so now here we have sorted in ascending order we can also sort in descending order we just have to change the condition here for that so here in ascending order we are uh, moving the element forward if the element j which is on the left side is greater than key so if we want to sort in descending order we will change this condition so here we have insertion sort reverse basically we change this condition and everything else remains the same so if I terminate the last execution and run this this will sort the array in reverse order so our array this input is sorted in reverse order so this is how we sort in reverse order using insertion sort we also have a test class we basically check our implementation with various input just to make sure our implementation is correct so all these three cases should pass if I run this and yes it does pass so this is all about the implementation of insertion sort now let's talk about complexity of insertion sort so the worst input uh, for our implementation will be when the input array is sorted in reverse order so in that case uh, in every comparison we have to move forward the elements from the left side so in the first iteration there will be one comparison and we have to move forward uh, the element say 10 here in the second iteration there will be two comparisons and we have to move forward uh, two elements in third iteration there will be three comparisons and every comparison we have to move forward the element so this is 10 elements so there will be nine iterations and if we sum uh, the number of comparisons it will be order of n square so that's why the worst case complexity for insertion sort is we go of n square and the average case complexity will also be of the order of n square now the best case for our implementation will be when array is sorted in ascending order if we are sorting in ascending order now for in this case uh, we will no, not go into while loop in each comparison we will come out of while loop so in every pass basically there will be one comparison so if there are 10 elements there will be nine comparisons total so the best case will be when input array is sorted in the order that we want so the best case complexity will be order of n now talking about when to use insertion sort so insertion sort is good if you are sorting an array of small numbers so suppose you are sorting an array of 20 numbers or 10 numbers or 15 numbers now uh, insertion sort is very good for that but insertion sort is not good if you are sorting a large uh, input size so suppose you are sorting an array of thousand elements insertion sort is not good for that and also insertion sort is good if your input is partially sorted because in that case the number of comparisons will be less and the number of elements that we have to move forward will be less so in these two cases insertion sort can be used now talking about the space complexity uh, so we are not using any uh, other data structure in our implementation of insertion sort just couple of variables so this key variable to hold that element and i and j so the space used by this implementation of 
uh, insertion sort will be constant. So regardless of whether you are sorting uh, an array of 10 elements or 1000 elements or a million elements, the space used by this uh, algorithm will be constant. So that's why the space complexity is order of one. So that's all about uh, complexity of insertion sort. Now you can get the code from here. So I have put the code here. And also we can check the complexity on the Bigo cheat sheet. So for insertion sort, the best uh, case is order of n and the average case will be order of n square and the worst case complexity will be order of n square as well and the space complexity will be order of one, which is constant time. So in the next one, we will talk about merge shot.